Good afternoon everyone. In today's video I'm going to use our volatility box live scanner along with our uh, squeeze signal scan to try and overlap the two and see where we might have some interesting short squeeze opportunities. There's uh, one candidate which I think is really ripe here but I want to take you through the entire process so you see how you can do this yourself. So let's start off by first copying all of these stocks and pasting them into an excel sheet. So let me bring this over to our screen right here and we're going to go ahead and paste them. Now there's a pretty simple formula here that allows us to comma separate this list. So we'll say equals a one, the and sign, and we'd like to combine that with a comma. Now we can go ahead and double click this. So we apply this to all of the cells, copy paste this list. And now let's go ahead and drop this directly into our volatility box short interest scanner. So if I head on over to the short interest scanner here, and then I can paste in this list, click search, now I have all of these stocks along with their short interest percentage along with the change from the last period. Now of course this one is very obscene but you also see the short interest percentage is very low. So let's go ahead and sort this list first. So we'll say short interest and we have Zillow. Now Zillow is hint, the, the one that I think stands out here. But if we come into our charts, we go to a chart of Zillow, I'll talk through what I think is interesting about this setup. Now, first off, we have our swing high to our swing low from that Feb to March decline. We've already hit the 1272 percentage. We do have a gap here that I think is going to get filled at some point. It didn't, I think, quite get filled here. I got close, but not quite enough. And so I imagine that at some point you're going to see Zillow have a fairly sharp correction. However, based off of that, we have a squeeze signal right here, a bullish squeeze signal. We also have our bullish market pulse. If I load in the triple squeeze, which again, all all these tools free for all volatility box members right so we click apply here you'll notice that the squeeze here looks like it's starting to build momentum where it's starting to really make a move up in the bullish direction take a look at what price action's been doing it's been making new all-time highs where i imagine that each time we make a new high like we did today you're going to again keep triggering all of those people that are currently short this stock where they're going to now be forced to cover which then keeps taking zillow up and up and up now the second thing you have here is the 1618 extension that's at 95.50 and if i right click this and we add in the 200 percent extension actually that's already on so let's collapse the chart you see that that's right around 113.32 and along the way there, you also have that really nice round number of 100, which I think makes for some fairly interesting opportunities. So the first target is really that 95.50. Then you have that 100 zone in which I expect a good amount of chop. Also, typically, once we hit that 1618 extension, we see a slightly deeper pullback here, right? At least back to that 100% retracement zone, if not the 1272 on a more aggressive scale. And so that first target, 95.50, is what I'd be targeting, after which point you move a break-even stop, and then really looking to see, do we get a pin around 100? If we break past 100, do we then make a move to 113.32 on the back of this squeeze? Now, if we come into the option chain here to see if there's any clues that stand out, the first thing that stands out, this is the three days expiration series, is these two right here with relatively uh, equal open interest numbers. To me, suggesting most likely a called debit spread between the 95 to 100. People betting that, hey, if we get a move towards that 100 in this week, then that makes for a fairly nice trade. You also notice that that's a fairly cheap trade, right? That's 45 cents for a $5 wide uh, spread. So that's one of those lotto ticket type spreads that you may consider. Another one here may be selling uh, put credit spreads along the way to the 31 days expiration series but if we skip over to the 31 days you'll see that there's a fairly large open interest amount right here 1005 at that 100 strike that we've been talking about makes sense right we see not only our squeeze signal if we come back to the chart here you also see uh, a squeeze that's starting to gain momentum you see the squeeze signal you see a bullish market pulse you see a stock that has fairly high short interest if we come back into our lives or our short interest scanner You'll see that Zillow has a short interest of 18.19%. Typically, double digits or more suggest that, hey, we expect to see at least some sort of short squeeze here, especially if you have everything stacked in the bullish favor. And you have the open interest suggesting that there's places where people have a good amount of open interest suggesting that they are looking for moves at least towards that 100 zone. And so to me, this 100 strike here in the 31 days is the one that I think is most attractive, especially something like that 95 to 100, except this time in the 31 days expiration where you've given yourself some more time. That's a dollar 57 wide or a dollar 57 to a dollar 76 for a five dollar wide spread. Makes sense as well. And you may also be looking at trying to pay for that by selling some put credit spreads along the way, right? All of that's based off of what your minimum uh, trade size is, what your maximum trade size is even, and you use that to construct a position that makes sense for you. 
All right, hope this video helps to at least find some short interest ideas. Zillow uh, is the one that stands out to me today based off of the results of our scan. And you can repeat this based off of whatever other scans you may have for all of our uh, members. You have, say, the simple breakout scans. Uh, you have the V-score scans. You have a really a wide array of scans that you can keep plugging into the short interest scanner to find more and more opportunities. All right, hope this video helps. We'll see you in the next update. Take care.